They can't help, they can't reproduce it. So even that the Muslims are better off. Alhamdulillah. You got him on that one, you got him on that one. By the way, did you see that hit and run by that guy? He came here, boom, boom, and it all away. And Muhammad had 13. Muhammad had 13. That's the problem. Are you jealous? And Muhammad had. Are you jealous? He has eight kids and I have nine. You see, this is what happens. Okay, so well, what were we discussing? We were discussing about the death of Jesus. Yes? According to you and according to me, we believe God is immortal. Yes? Was Jesus immortal? And don't say in his human nature because he did die in his human nature. And we all die in our human nature. Our soul lives on and Jesus' soul lives on. So we are not immortal. How can he be immortal? Based on your principle, we should be immortal. Because we die in our human nature. Our flesh dies, but our souls don't die. So we should all be immortal. But the Bible says only God is immortal. So you are completely and utterly wrong over there. I'm not God, talking to you, I'm talking God to you. God himself is okay? never, it's never, we're never going to meet him. No, no, you, the only way you're going to deny this is if you deny your rationality, yes, and your reasoning. So tell me, based on your reasoning, based on your reasoning, if you can die and Jesus can die, why are you immortal and he is immortal? Listen, 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 listen. listen. If you're going to answer that question, go on. Uh, can I ask you a question? No, after okay. you answer that question. No, because I've already answered it. No, you haven't. I have. I said, why are you immortal and Jesus immortal when you both... I never said Jesus, when... I never said Jesus was immortal. No, no, I said Jesus. Is he immortal? Jesus... Okay. He incarnated as a man. When he did that, he willingly became mortal. I don't understand why that's... Why oh, so he was 0% God? Sorry? You said he willingly became mortal. So he was 0% God? He was what? 0% God. No, I, that's not a problem. No. But you said God, he became a mortal. God chose to become mortal. Which means he became a man. Yes. Which means he's not God anymore. No. So you know, you, you you believe in a mortal God? Do you believe in a mortal God? Seriously, do you believe in a mortal God? God could look. God chose to incarnate Himself on Earth, Emmanuel, God with us, to prove a point. It was that was yes, my question. He could, have, he could have forgiven us in another. That way. wasn't my question at all. I asked you, can God be mortal? Look, when he says clearly that he's immortal, can he be mortal? We're never going to get anywhere. No, we will. Because what you're doing is you're denying the verse of the Bible, which is clearly saying only God is immortal. You are somehow saying this flesh, this flesh which came to earth, i.e. Jesus, is immortal or mortal. Make up your mind. Which one is it? No, I'm not listening to you. What is it? Are you going to answer? Is Jesus, when he was in his ministry as a human being, was he mortal? Jesus. Or was he God immortal? Man. When he became yeah. man, he Human. willingly took Human on mortality. Being. Yes, but that's okay. Human you know when you say he became yeah. man. Mm -hmm. So let's say Human for 33 being. years, yeah. Jesus was only a man. Based on your argument, he was only a man. No, he wasn't only no. a man. No. So why are you saying man that he? So why are you saying he became immortal? Look. Divine nature and human nature. I don't know how many times I have to repeat this. You don't understand the logic. I understood your logic very okay. clearly. I explained it to you. you don't understand I said divine, divine and human no, are attached to one person. Which part of that you didn't understand? <laughs> divine and human both are attached to that one person, the second person of the Trinity, who died on the cross. To you, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't mean it's not real. What did I say? To you, it doesn't make any sense. Actually, I made sense from it and explained it that to you. That doesn't mean it's you not are real. In you, basically, you are thinking about... Uh, I'm not talking to you anyway. So what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. If Jesus... Because, leave him, leave him. Just ignore him. That's the best way to deal with him. When Jesus became a human being, was he 100% God? He was God and man together. Okay, good, good, good. Stick with that point. He was God and man. So he had human nature, he had a human nature and, a divine and divine nature. nature. Now, now, wait a minute. Remember earlier I told you the natures do not exist without a person? Okay, so this human nature and divine nature were attached to which person from the Trinity? The second person. No, the divine nature was the second person of the Trinity. Yeah. The human nature was a man. And they united in the person of Jesus Christ. Wait a minute, so you're saying the human nature was not part of anyone in the Trinity? No. You don't even know what the Trinity is then? He doesn't know what hypostatic union means because 
According to the Christian creed, a hypostatic union of Jesus, once post, post incarnation, yes, he's going to remain the human and the divine nature for eternity. No, 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 no. It's not that he wasn't divine. He, he was something before, and now he's become something after. No, no, you misunderstood. You, 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 you let don't me, understand. Let the me, Trinity doesn't change. The Trinity doesn't change. The Trinity doesn't change. Okay, so who became human from the Trinity? The second person of the, of the God. Is that, is that a change? God. God. Is that a change? God. Is that a change? God. 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 So you, so wait, 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 wait. You were spiritual before, and then the second person of the Trinity became a man. That to me things. is a clear and change. You're understanding things in completely human context. Let me ask you a question. I'm a human. How else will I understand? <laughs> humility. Humility. What do you mean humility? You said in a human context. Listen, listen. Do you understand human context or, or angel context? I submit or myself. Or divine context? Islam. I submit myself. To whom? To God. To Allah? Allah, if you want to call Allah the God of Abraham, oh, yeah. Isaac, and Jacob, who incarnated the man Jesus Christ, sure. Is Arabic it? Christians do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, you are the first person from among the Christians. This guy used to say Allah. Allah is the. What do you say? Allah is the false God. Did you say that? Look. Can you can you can you educate him? It's just a word. I know, but can you educate him? No, honestly, honestly, can you educate your Christian friends? Okay. Because he keeps saying Allah. I can prove that. Actually, you're right. The Arab Christians, the Arab Christians, the Arab Hebrews. Yeah. I can prove that. Allah means God in Hebrew. Uh, the no, word for God no, in Hebrew no. is genetic. Is there a, is there a word Allah no. or Allah? No. Allah, no, no, Allah no. means God. Allah. Allah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No. El, El Allah means God in Hebrew. Allah. 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 Genetically connected. Allah. Yes. Why, do okay. Why do you care? Why do you care? They're genetically connected. You don't okay. have to. I, I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand yeah. you know it, but what is it? Sometimes it's denied by many Christians. It's only the ignorant ones who deny it. Okay, you're right. What was the language of Jesus? Aramaic. What is the word for God in Aramaic? I don't, I don't have a problem with the word Allah. Say it, say it, say it. What is the name for God in Aramaic? Bro, leave him man. What is the name for God in Aramaic, the language of Jesus? Do you know? You shout a lot. What is the name of, what is the word for God in Aramaic? I know, I know. Come on, now is the chance. Speak up. I can't hear. No, in Aramaic, not Hebrew. Aramaic. You don't know. Do you? He said he didn't know. What? Do you know the word for, uh, for God in Aramaic? Of course. What is it? In Aramaic, not Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Allah. Thank you. Allah. It's, it's, it's Allah. Okay? So it's, it's just the way you write Allah with an A at the end. So this ignorant man doesn't know. He says Allah is the, Allah is the first God. Okay. Is that Aramaic? Is that Aramaic? It's Aramaic. Okay. So, so, now, so now we go back to what Jesus himself. You see, Jesus. That's true. Actually, that's true actually. I don't know why you can't, why you have to say Allah in English. Allah in English. Yeah, because, why do you have to do that? Because I like to say the name. It's not the. It's not. It doesn't mean just God. It is actually the name of God. You know that. I don't Allah, don't Allah, Allah, that Allah is the name of God. that's your problem. Okay. Okay. Because you don't know Arabic, you will not be able to understand that the name Allah. Allah says in the Quran, Asmaul Husna. You know what that means in Arabic? The good name. The beautiful name yeah. of Allah. I know a bit of Arabic. Good. Asmaul Husna. Allah has 99 names. I know. Yeah, yeah. What is the personal name of your God? In the new, in the New Yahweh. Testament. Yahweh. What do you mean? There's no Yahweh in the New Yahweh. Testament. Yahweh. Yahweh. What is the New Yahweh. Testament? Yahweh. The name of God. I, 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 has your God blessed you with a name in the New Testament? No, I, d I don't agree that Allah is the name of God. Well, that's your problem. We Muslims know that is the name of God. But, but, you, but, but this is the thing. But you're, you're, but you're claiming that Aramaic, in Aramaic, is Allah, Allah, and this somehow has some significance for the word no, no. Allah. I'm saying, look, look. And for me, Allah is just a word. That's fine. As a Christian, as a Christian, wait a minute. As a Christian, as a Christian, you believe that the word for God in Arabic is Allah. <laughs> The word for okay. God in Aramaic. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The word for God. The word for God in Aramaic is Allah. So you got Allah and Allah. When Jesus was on the cross, what did he cry out? But Allah is not the name of God. That's your Allah is not recorded in the New Testament. Okay. So look, look. Do you know why? Remember when I wait? Do you, that, that is a straw man. Shall I tell you why? Because when I asked you about the Aramaic, I asked you what is the term for God. I didn't ask you what was his name. Okay. So do not straw man me. What I'm saying is that the name Allah in the Quran is a name. So you're saying that Allah, the name of God has been revealed to the Muslims, but not before? <laughs> no, the name Allah has been revealed before because the name of, of, of Muhammad's father was Abdullah. 
Yes, oh, the servant of Allah. I know now, the name Allah. Allah. No, it wasn't. It was. It was. It was. Let me let me clarify. Wait, wait, I'm coming. I know, I know. But listen, listen, listen. Oh, Even if the Semitic peoples had a habit of naming their main god just God, so El was a pagan deity in Canaan. No, no, you can't say pagan deity. I'll tell you why. A pagan deity. You know what a pagan deity is? A pagan deity is a deity that you worship other than the main god. Yeah. Okay. So in the Kaaba, there are 360 idols. They didn't have an idol of Allah because they believed that Allah was the God of all of them. Yes. When they when they were asked, when the pagans were asked, who is the Rabb of Samawati of the seven heavens, and they used to say Allah because they believed they believed in Allah, Almighty God. In addition to that, they believed in this demigod, all this all these idols, and that's why they are called the Mushrikun al Arabi. Okay, they are called the Mushriks. The, the pagan Arabs, the Mushriks in, uh, in Arabia. So, now, now the reason they were having all these idols is because that is how today the Hindus also uh, basically direct their worship. They say we direct it through an idol, but we are really praying to a god. Okay. Yeah. However, they did not create an idol of Allah, the Supreme God. The reason for that is because for them, he was the God of I, everyone. Okay. That, the only way we can know that is through Islamic history. The okay. crash, so no, no, you can't know. You can't know from God of okay. Abraham. You can know from look. There are you many inscriptions God of Abraham, and, and, and inscriptions from the time the that these people worship that Allah will Uzza. You know in the Quran, Allah know, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, Allah will Uzza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were asked, who are these? Yes, are the they, Allah says, Allah says that these are pagan gods. These are the pagan gods that Allah exposes in the Quran. He says, these are nothing but the names your forefathers invented. Yes, so these were the, their own, their own minds invented these gods. Just like you guys invented Jesus as God. When Jesus never claimed to be God. I'm not insulting. I'm saying Jesus never was worshipped as God by his own disciples. By, okay, I'll tell you what. In the Old Testament, no, it's not insulting. It's just like you can criticize the Quran, I can criticize the, the Bible. Yes. You remember earlier? Say, for example, you guys invented the Kaaba when Abraham had gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Kaaba. I can say that. I didn't say that. No, no. The Kaaba. You can say it. I'm saying it. Say it. I'll respond to it. No problem. I look at You can say anything you want. Okay. Remember. Tommy Robinson always goes about freedom of speech. The Muslims don't let you speak. Alhamdulillah, have you ever seen these Muslims stopping anyone from criticizing Islam? No, you criticize Islam, but give us the honor and the opportunity to respond to you. That's all we're asking. Not like that guy earlier. Hit, not, not like that gypsy guy with the baby earlier who came hit and run. That is not the kind of people we want to entertain. We want people like Harry who is here Thank willing you, to man. listen and, and respond and we'll give you a chance. So with regards, with regards, do you actually believe we worship the black, black stone like this ignorant guy here? That's right. I believe that the ancient Arabians <laughs> worship the stone. No, no, the Muslims, the Muslims today. Listen, 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 listen. listen. The Muslims today, do, they, do you think they worship the black stone? Well, I mean, worship, whenever you're saying you're worshiping something, yeah. that's an act of will which you choose to do. You can say, I worship this or I don't worship this. No, no, as worship. As you stop look, saying, I'm worshiping. Worship as a God. You see wait, worshiping it. When I say worship, Saying, I worship this is the act of worship. You understand? Hold on. When I say worship, so, I mean worship just like the way you worship Jesus as God. Do you think we worship the black stone as God? No, because you say you don't. Exactly. That's a very good response. But, Learn but, from him, listen, ignorant man. But, but, Learn from him. Because this is something that's this guy here, me, this guy here, he always says we worship the black stone when the Muslims never say this. Let me finish. But the Christians say they worship that Jesus. Does not mean, do that, that does not mean that the Kaaba is not, was not a pagan idol before do do Islam arrived. Okay, okay, hold on. And then it hold is on. A, Did I not already respond to that? I told you, in the Kaaba, there were 360 idols. In fact, I was the one who volunteered to tell you that. I know, yes? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he conquered Makkah, what is the first thing he did? What is the first thing he did? He destroyed every single idol. You know, there are many Christians who lie. They say that Muhammad destroyed all idols except one. Yes. And they're trying to say that is, a, that is the idol of Allah. Yeah. Liars like him say that. Show me, show me the hadith. Show me that. Show me that. Your Quran. I want to ask him a question. Muhammad you know, you know, sorry, you know earlier on you said that Muhammad himself said that you know you asked him a question. Now why do you call Allah the name Allah in English? Are we supposed to change the names in your opinion? For example, no, 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 no. For example, Allah is the name of Allah. Do you want us to change it? to 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand why you need to call God a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So then, in, in that term, would you change the name of the prophets? So, for example, how can you change the name of the prophets? Exactly. So, how can you change the name of God? No, 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 no. What is the name of God then? What is the personal name of God in, in Judaism and Christianity? There is no name of God. God doesn't have a name. That's why he said, I am what I am. Oh, my God. So, let me get this right. Allah bless us with 99 names and you guys with zero names. God is beyond name. Who does it love more? God is beyond name. You know, listen, listen, Harry, 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 listen. You know, if you tell me that you are my friend, you know what is the least thing I expect from you? Habibi, Habibi, leave him, leave him. When you say that you are my friend, and when I say I'm your friend, what is the least thing you expect from me? I'm not beyond names, God is. Hold on, it's not about beyond names. Time and time again, Jesus said, go and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So what is the name of the Father? What is the name of the Son? We, we know that is Jesus, Isa alayhi salam. What is the name of the Holy Spirit? Okay, but this is... Why would Jesus say to baptize in the name? But look how much... If there's more, no name. Look how much more cosmopolitan Christianity is to Islam. Cosmopolitan? Cosmopolitan. You don't have a name. How is that cosmopolitan? It's, because listen, listen. You don't listen, have a name. Listen, 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 listen. Go on. When, as a Christian, you baptize somebody, yeah. okay? Like you just said, okay, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We don't say, I baptize you in the name of the pater, and the huos and the pneuma, which are the Greek words. Maybe the Greek do. Uh. No, they, okay, they do. But that's in Greek. That's in Greek. Because we're not stuck to one language. You said they don't, but listen, they do. Listen, listen, yeah, listen, listen. Okay. So we mean we Christians. Okay. The Greeks are Christians. Who's me? He's not plural. He's, he's a single man. So well, royal we. Now this. Well, you're not even God, so you can't use that even. Now that are you king. We agree. We agree on that. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. You Hebrew. You know Hebrew, don't you? Yes. So my point was only on the. Why do you change the names of the prophets? Because well, how will we change them to? For example, I mean, first we is, hold on a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is Moses' name Moses in Hebrew? No. Moshe. Why? Why are we, why are you translating? Why Actually, you no, no, I wouldn't use Moses. I was use I was use Jesus. Sure, sure. What is Jesus' name in Hebrew? We are Yeshua. Not, okay. We are not, why don't you call him Yeshua? Why change it completely? Exactly. Why are you changing the Okay, but why do you call him Isa? Why do you call him Moses? No, because in Arabic, in Arabic, we believe. That wasn't his name. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is, that is you speaking. I'm speaking as a Muslim. As a Muslim, we know that his name was Isa No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Whether you look, look, his name according to you wasn't Jesus either, right? But you do say his name Jesus. So this is adulteration of his real name. That's no, but listen, Isa wasn't his name either. That's your, that's no, no, your opinion. No, no. Okay, okay, listen, that's your opinion. What well, the main question Let's is, stick to the Bible. it's not my opinion, he no, wasn't no, no, Arabic. Hold on, hold on a second. No, 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 no. He wasn't Arabic. Was Arabic. 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 Isa is not an Arabic name. Exactly. Isa is an Arabic name. Isa is not an Arabic name. Abraham, is Abraham an Arabic name? Abraham is not an Arabic name. Just because he's in the Quran doesn't mean he's an Arabic name. Listen, can we give him... So these names were given before. Isa is an Arabic name. No, it is a name from before. He was Yeshua. He was The names from before, the names from before, Okay, mm. they were the names which are maintained. Now in Hebrew, look, when they say Moshe, I have no problem with that. When they say Musa, again, it's, it's, it's basically semantics, I would say. In, 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 Hold on, can I ask this, a question? This wait, is super wait, important, super wait, important, super wait, important. Keep it, keep it in your head okay, until I finish. <laughs> okay, so, so what I'm saying is this. If the name of God was not blessed for both the Jews and the Christians, it just shows to say that whom we love more. Okay. The Muslims were given 99 names. Okay, 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 not okay. one, not two, 99. Asma'ul Husna in the Quran. Wait, wait, wait. And you also let me ask this question. Of He's jealous because, because he didn't get a name. I in my head for this. Okay. Why? So, why is are you saying yeah. that Isa was the, act, was the actual name no, 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 no. of Jesus oh, that he used for himself? We're jumping something, my friend. My, my question, you're jumping. I asked a question, no. if you don't no, mind. No, I, I asked a question. Oh, I kept it no, in no, my head. No, 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 no. He, he that, yeah, I did it. We, we got there. We got to okay. your question by my question that okay, I asked. Go on, go on, and go that is the why you asked us about Allah and why we're speaking it, why we don't call him God in English. And I said, we're not going to change. And he, Hashim said, we yeah. don't change the name of God. Now, again, why are you changing? As, as you're a person who knows Hebrew, I'm asking you this, yeah? When Moses' name is not Moses, when David David's name is not David, yeah, or Joseph's name is not Joseph. Why have you changed the names? Does, just, that, does that make sense? It's just linguistic. Right. That's that's linguistic. Right. Right. You're changing yeah. names. Yeah. 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 We're, not, we're not hung up on language. Right. Now let me ask my question. Hold a second. Hold a second. Hold a second. Oh, you will ask it. You will ask okay, it. Okay, good, good, good. Because the Egyptians go call you know one of their god names is the, the you know Ra. Yeah, yeah. They don't change that, do they? But no, yet you're changing as a Christian. No, no, what, what, to what? The pronunciation of Ra in Egyptian. I don't know what it was. My point is this. It could have been anything. My point is this. 
ancient gods have wow. their names. Zeus has his name. Okay, my point is. Zeus, the name is Zeus, not Zeus. Okay, fine. They don't pronounce it, it correctly. Zeus. Then, that's an example. Okay, so you're pronouncing. No, right? that's a pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pronunciation. My yeah. point is, you're changing the names of prophets. You're changing the names of prophets. You're changing the names of gods. This is okay. this is not. Oh, okay. religion, is this? this is my question. This is my question. You have an answer to my question, but okay, fine. So you, you do change it. Matter, that's matter, that's it doesn't matter. It doesn't if you this change the name of prophets. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's fine. Go okay, ahead. Okay, 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 okay. I want to ask you this. Yeah. Isa. Was that the name that Jesus called himself when he was alive? Those very vowels and consonants, Isa. Okay. Of course not. Isa. Tell me. Isa. For example, in Arabic, what is the name of Jesus in Arabic? Uh, uh, Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah. That's yeah, Hebrew. Yeshua. That's no, Hebrew. No, no, it's, it's Yeshua. No, no, That's Yahushua Hebrew. Yeshua is the Hebrew. Yeshua is the Aramaic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should you look up in the Aramaic? And in, in the Syriac, yeah, sure, no, in, the, in, in the Aramaic Bible. Okay, look it up because okay, you're the one making the claim. Okay. In the Aramaic Bible, it's. Um, Bring up the Aramaic and show me what is his name. Show what's the relevancy in there? Uh, I, None. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he's saying. Well, what, what I'm saying, the important thing is this. If God hasn't blessed you with his name, is there a reason for that? You haven't asked my question though. Please answer my question. I really want to well, know. He's looking it up. Until then, he's looking up the Aramaic word for Isa. No, I know the Aramaic. It's Yeshua. Yeshua. Well, Yeshua. you're making he the claim. I need to it's see. Not Isa. I, I need to see the evidence. But so what I'm asking okay. you. So even look, if you want to say that Isa is the Arabic of Yeshua, it is. Okay, yeah. I have no issue with that. Okay. I have no issue with that. Okay. But the important thing is this: the fact is st still remains. God hasn't blessed you with his name. What is the reason for Can that? Can I blow your mind? Can I blow your mind? Jibril. That's a sin, by the way. Okay. Well, <laughs> listen, listen. Go on. Jibril. Go back, go back yes. Okay. Yeah. Jibril, yeah? The angel. Yeah. You all agree? Okay. Jibril, you see. The original Hebrew is Gabriel. Okay. It means strength of God in there Hebrew. There you go. Gever. Local Aramaic Hebrew name, Yeshua. Okay, listen. Yeah. Aramaic. Hebrew. Hebrew. Are you okay? So I always shake. Okay, okay. Yeshua in Hebrew is a verbal derivative. <laughs> To rescue, to deliver. Oh, so now wait a minute. Is the name, the to, name. You know, this is a good thing. Actually, it means to rescue or to deliver. Right, okay, right. but not the save one. Many okay. Christians listen, say listen, listen, Yeshua listen. means the save one. It's listen, not the save one. Listen, 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 listen. I need to tell you this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seriously. By the way, it says in the lexicon, he is saved. That is what Yeshua means. Okay. He is saved. Is Jibreel. Which is, which is exactly what the Quran said that he was saved what is the name of by God, not Jibreel. not crucified. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. No, no, no. You know your question here, yeah, by the way, before you carry on. You can ask him go on, and go, go ahead. On, go on. Who revealed those names to us? You know, go you on. said Jibreel in Arabic. Yeah, Why yeah, did you change yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe Allah. Allah revealed the name Jibreel. So that's the name we're going to use because he would know the names better, okay. even if somebody previously in Aramaic changed it. Just to let you know, okay. but you can carry on. Okay, okay. Now, this is what I'm going to say, okay? Yeah. Jibreel, okay? That comes from the Hebrew Gavriel, meaning strength of God. Okay, Gever means strength in Hebrew, El means God. I mean, that's just, there's no derivation in Arabic, and in Hebrew there is carry a derivation. On, carry on. So clearly it's a Hebrew word, okay? Now, how did the G, G, become a J sound? Okay? Because, because in Arabic, because in Arabic there's a J, listen, not listen, in listen, Hebrew. Listen, 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 listen. In Hebrew there's no J. I studied historical linguistics. Yes? It's a fact of historical linguistics. Is that a J in Hebrew? No, there's not a J in Hebrew. And that's why you make Jesus into J? Because this is my subject. I know, okay, I know a lot there's about Semitic this. Language, I know a lot about this. You know? Okay, are you listening? Okay. Are you listening? Arabic and the Jews. In e e Egyptian dialect of Arabic, yeah. the Jim letter survives as G. Okay? It has not trans transitioned into J, look, like look. in Arabia. First, let me finish, let me finish. No, please. no, no. I, I know this is your topic, but it's not mine. Listen, listen. So for you, I know this is even important. Wait, wait. No, no, but, but wait, what are you doing here? Listen, is, listen, listen. You're listen, talking listen, to listen, someone listen, who hasn't listen, studied this. Let me finish. Okay, go on. If it makes you feel better, go on. Okay. It does, it really does. <laughs> Go on. Um, okay. In Egyptian, it's originally Gur. Now, I can tell you... Egyptian or Arabic? Egyptian Arabic. What, in the why are you using Egyptian Arabic? I'll tell you in a minute. The it, Arabic it of the Quran. Quran is, let me finish. The Arabic of the Quran. I swear to God. It it's Fusha, not listen. Egyptian Arabic. Okay, now. In Egyptian Arabic, yeah. Gur is used instead of Jur. Now, I can tell you as a fact of historical linguistics of that subject, I've got an MA in this, okay? That Gur, the sound Gur, always goes to Jur historically, not the other way around. The evidence of that is, I can tell you with 99% certainty, in fact 100% certainty, yeah. that Muhammad, Muhammad would have pronounced Jibril, Gibril. He wouldn't have said Jibril. Did he speak Egyptian Arabic? <laughs> okay, the first half. Did he speak Arabic Egyptian Arabic? Of the 6th century, they said Gibril. Okay, Mr. Ame, did he speak Egyptian Arabic? Who knows? No, you're not listening to what I'm saying. In a, in a Saudi Arabian Arabic, the Gur sound... Saudi Arabian Arabic? Yeah, what is that? Ha, on which first half, modern first half is based. Yeah. Who told you? Became <laughs> Okay. Can I can I ask you something? So you're telling me you're telling me when Allah revealed it in pure Arabic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is the evidence for that? 
it's historical linguistics. No, no, I'm not asking about history. It's like saying general, you know. You know what? You're, you're, you're using a different tool. Wait. First and foremost, you're using history. You're using history to identify okay. theology. Okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, okay. wait a minute. Just because you learn history and in your MBA degree, yeah, 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 this is yeah, yeah, yeah. how they taught it's you. Like saying wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just because in your MA degree, this is how you learn, does it mean that it is going to be 100% accurate? Okay, uh, if you can find... Are you, are you going to answer that question? No, because it is accurate, it's scientific. Is it 100 it's scientific, scientific fact. fact? It's scientific, yeah. Is it it's linguistic or science? Linguistics is a science. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 next thing, no, next no, you're going to no, tell no, me history is science. science. Next right. you're going to tell me history is science too. No, it's not. Because linguistics, but what you told me, linguistics has defined methods. Exactly. The reason you results. called it linguistic oh. historic and not scientific linguistic shows that you, it's you. It's not subjective. Exactly. You don't get to choose. There's a fact. Yeah. No, 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 exactly, exactly. 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 Historical okay. linguistics okay. is a fact. So what I'm if telling you is that. You can find me one example. You know, I can find you know, dozens, 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 dozens. You know dozens, what? Dozens, dozens. I can, I can okay. give you only one response, which can actually demolish what you just said completely. Go on. Okay. In, in Arabic, I didn't know, sorry, in, in the context of the history of the preservation of the Quran, I don't know if you're aware of this. As, as Muslims, we believe that everyone who takes the Quran as uh, uh, the, a lesson for, of, of the Quran, or someone who teaches the Quran, he has ijazah, he has permission from his Ijaza, teacher. You mean, Muhammad, no, you're using Egyptian, Egyptian, that's what I'm saying. What you're doing, you're obsessed with Egyptian Arabic, because they say Gamila Giddan instead of Jamila Giddan. Yes, exactly. yes. That's now, wait, original. No, how, how, original. How is it written in Arabic? How is it? How is it? Wait, 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 wait. How is it written in Arabic? Sorry? With a Jim or with a with a Ga? Uh, Ga is more original than no, Jim. The, the letter, the letter they write. When you write the word Jamil, what is the letter you use first? The first letter. Is it a Jim or is it a Gaim? No, it's a gym. It's gym. A gym, obviously. Now, when you say gym, yeah. gym is pronounced as Jamil in Arabic. Yes. So when, when an Egyptian... Arabic. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. In, in the first Arabic. When an no. Egyptian... Trust me. When an Egyptian reads the Quran... Wait. When an Egyptian reads the Quran, yes? And the word Jamil is in there, he will not read it as Gabil. Yeah, because he's wrong as well. <laughs> and Saudi Arabia, listen, 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 listen. You can't mean with this guy. Oh. With this guy, you can't mean oh. him. Oh. Oh. The Karakis, the yeah, 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 yeah. I think that the Egyptians. Okay. But we are talking about the Quran first Arabic. Yeah, well, this is what this guy, he, he knows Egyptian languages. Arabic and he's obsessed with that. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know Egyptian Arabic, but listen. But you. In certain languages, in certain languages, some elements are more conservative. And they retain certain sounds. Oh, right and other languages same. are more conservative in other areas. The, 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 the word is the same. The pronounce is the same. In our, when you read the Quran, the pronounce is the same. No, it doesn't. Listen, listen, no. Harry, Harry. When an Egyptian or someone from Saudi or someone from Egypt or even someone from India or Pakistan, because listen, listen. They are taught how to pronounce the words. I know this. Okay, yeah. this is called Tajweed. I know. So the rules of Tajweed, they do not pronounce the word Jim as God. But what wait, wait. Mm -hmm. The rules of Tajweed do not allow this. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of this? Yes. Okay. Now, if in the first half, when they recite the Arabic, whether it's an Egyptian or an American or a Saudi, yes, like, thank you very much. Okay. So, for you to say that the word Jibril, the Prophet would have pronounced it as Gibril, and with 99% or 100% certainty, that is an absurd lie. But listen, do you agree? No, not at all. Okay, so you don't know the rules of Tajweed then? No, I know the rules of Tajweed. It's but the fact that the rules of Tajweed happen to be based on modern Saudi pronunciation rather than modern? actually pronounced so in the 6th century. When, when did modern, like Saudi, when did modern Saudi Arabia come about? When did the modern Saudi Arabia come about? Not as a country, as a, as a linguistic community. Even as a linguistic company, community. When you use the modern Arabic... Look, just wait, wait, wait. The is the first half is the first of the modern Arabic? Yes, Fusa is modern Arabic. What do you, what do you he doesn't know what Fusa is. I know what Fusa is. It's the standard version of Arabic. The standard version. The standard Based version. The Quran. Yes, no, when I, I say modern Quran. Arabic, I mean the, the Arabic that was later on, which you came in the dialects. The, yeah, the, the, this is okay, also. Fusa is not the dialect. Okay, yes, the, okay. the Fusa that is spoken in the Quran, uh -huh. in the Quran, Jibril asked the Prophet ﷺ to recite it after him. So Jibril would recite, and the Prophet ﷺ would Look. recite. Wait, wait, hurry, wait. And the Prophet ﷺ would recite. So when Jibril recites with Tajweed, the Prophet recites and memorizes with Tajweed. You know when, when the Qari, you know and when that's the, been preserved where, for 1,400 years. Hadi, yes, yes, yes. False. So the pronunciation. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sure? Okay, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> the pronunciation, let's, let's ask him for his evidence Go. for that claim. The pronunciation is preserved through a chain of transmission of the Qiraat. Not just the word. But also the Qur'an, the way it's recited. And you're sure that's uncorrupted over that one and a half thousand years? That is uncorrupted. How do you know? Wait, 
You are the one who said that it is false. Show me evidence for that. That is false. I've shown you the evidence. Where? Right. Historical linguistics, it is a scientific method with defined results and a defined methodology. Now, when, when was it invented? Yeah, of course. 150 years ago, it's the, the field started. How many years ago? 150 years ago, and it's been going ever since. Okay, so it wasn't that during you the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No. Okay, so you're basing something from a modern science, and you're going to use that to compare what Jibreel brought to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And is that your evidence? Listen, yes, yes, yes. This is, no, you're always going That's about nonsense. Okay, so you're always saying how science... That's nonsense. Have, listen, 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 listen. If you can find a single example... Of what? Okay. There are dozens of examples of the letter G becoming a J in, in the, the Quran. In the Quran. No, just let me finish. No, but this is about the Quran. I don't care about the Arabic language itself outside the Quran. I'm talking about the language of the Quran. If you're telling me that this uh, chain of transmission of the Qirat from the time of Prophet Muhammad all the time, all the way up to now, when a Qari becomes a Qari, he has this chain of transmission, which which goes all the way to the Prophet Sallallahu if you haven't seen okay, one... Okay, the chains are corrupted over 1,500 years. Yes, sorry. yes. Sorry, it's corrupted. I'm sorry, you don't have that you tradition, have but we do. You have no evidence for it. I can show you from a Qari, a chain. Where the recording? I want an yes, audio yes, recording yes. of Muhammad in fact, reciting the Quran. In fact, recording of every one of the chain of transmission, you can find with the people who have become Qaris. Unfortunately, Christians and Jews do not have this tradition. They don't have this. Okay? Sad. Yes, it is, because you don't even have the first century it's manuscripts. Century. Everything that you have in the Bible is a later addition. So we have, we have uh, four century manuscripts. Four century? Uh, four century? How many years after Jesus is that? Yeah, yeah, How many years after Jesus? Well, I, 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 I don't understand. The, the reason you're stammering is because you have realized that 350, no, years, it's it's 350 years after Jesus, it's nowhere to link. Any books from the ancient world have manuscripts at the time well, we have, they were written. We have, any. We have, have you heard of the Birmingham manuscript of the Quran? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like 50 years after Muhammad died or something Not like 50. That. It's within the time. Maybe a decade or two at the most. Okay, yeah, this, no, is, okay. this is how I close... No, and wait, no, no, wait, wait. No, no. This was actually carbon dated no, by the no, Oxford no, no. University. And you can go and check it out if you don't believe me. Okay. And not only that... No, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. So for your claim, which you made, that hardly anyone has the originals, okay, from the time they were producing, we do. No, but the letter G, it doesn't say in the Quran how you, how you pronounce, and in the ancient manuscripts, how you pronounce G. No, but I wasn't talking about the manuscript with regards to the pronunciation. I said there is a chain of transmission. And the chain's wrong. Prove it. I can. Listen now, to me. now. Let me prove you it. You made a claim, you prove it. You can't interrupt me. Okay. If you're going to use your 150 year scientific method, that is not proof. Well, okay, the scientific, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. you're going to take on the whole field of historical linguistics and say it's all nonsense. Fair enough. No, no, I didn't say that. Go write I the said, paper. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's what, what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is that you're going to, you're going to use your scientific method when I have the preservation, the preserved uh, chain of transmission to this day. I'm literally giving you proof and you're saying, no, that proof doesn't count. That's no, what true. I'm saying is, <laughs> it is, it is like using the wrong tool to identify. Okay, it's like, it's like me. Sorry. What tools can I use? Do I use the Quran? Because obviously the Quran No, you use the tool which is available, which is, which is a chain of transmission. So I have, now you have to so the only tools I can use to talk about your field, your subject, is your own tools. Wait a minute, let is me that finish. What you're yeah. to me? There's no can objective I, third can party. I, can, I, can I answer that? Go on. Can I answer that? Go on. It is very easy for you to use your third party tools to identify these as false or true. Okay? So I'm still allowing you to use your third party tools. All I'm saying is that you look at the extant evidence first before you jump to the conclusion that it done. is wrong. I have done. And I okay, done. have you used your tools to identify this chain of transmission? What do you mean? There's a, there's a chain of. Listen, listen. There's a chain of transmission. It's a very simple simple information I, which I, I passed on I to you. We I, have we have a chain of transmission okay, of the Quran. Very nice. How to pronounce it. Well done. Now you use your you use your whatever method you have Good for you. to identify that this is false. That's all you have to do. How do I do that? Ah use That's your cool. tool. You should I, know how to I use the tool. I just use my tool by you, saying that you know you, pronounce you know. I've just used no, the tool, but you deny it. But you said. How am I supposed to do it? Do I go back in a time you, machine? You already said that the word jim in the Quran is pronounced jim, not ga. No, the word jim in, in the Quran in Muhammad's time would have been pronounced jim. Don't say wudaf. Don't say wudaf. That is a speculation. Yeah, that is a speculation. The evidence. The evidence is Don't give me speculation, give me evidence. In Arabic in the 6th century, when the Muslims dispersed, when you had the Umayyad dynasty, the jim was pronounced jim. Umayyad came after how many years? Why you jump straight away from the Prophet's time all the way to the Umayyads? Well, that, because that's... he wants to remain in Egypt. 
The Egyptians love their game. Gamila get them. I didn't say you were. I didn't say you were. Because maybe that is the limitation of what you studied. No, That's why you have to go to that dynasty in order to identify how the Muslims no, in the time of Mahomet. Look, look, Egypt, until no. you can ev how have evidence. With the gym, you already said it. No, with the gym. Well, and the Arabs and the Saudis have their regime. With the gym, with the same letter. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how, how do both of them pronounce when the gym up, when the gym appears in the Quran? How do both of them pronounce it? Big gym, because they're both using modern so first half. That's modern. Oh, so you're saying? <laughs> so, so wait, wait. You're telling me that if if yeah. I. Uh, basically, time travel to the time of Prophet Muhammad, he would be saying Gim. Yes. And where's the evidence for that? Historical linguistics, the fact that the, um, the uh, palatal fricative, that's what it's called in the, in the uh, academic literature, is always pronounced, always derived from, almost always derived from a velar stock, which is ger, rather than vice versa. No, no, when the evidence for this is in Egyptian Arabic, so what you're saying is, Gim in Egyptian Arabic went to Gim. But that is. So, so, when, heard of. so you're saying, wait a minute, let me get this right. So in the modern Arabic, mm -hmm. sorry, in the modern Fusha, mm -hmm. it is pronounced Je or Ge? Pronounced Je. Je, in the modern. Yeah. What do the Egyptians pronounce it today? Ge. That's more conservative, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't get it. I don't get it. So Egyptians today in the modern modern era, <laughs> they still pronounce it as Ge. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, they pronounce it. it. So, so when they read, <laughs> wait, can you can you give me the evidence for what you just quoted there? Yeah. Okay. okay. If you look at all of the languages of no, the world, give me, give me evidence. Give me evidence. I'm giving you evidence. Evidence of a professor, of a scholar, who said that in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this is how they would have pronounced it. I'm not at the library right now. I oh, you don't have to be. I, I tell you what. Let's discuss this when you actually have the evidence, shall we? Let's be fair. I have the evidence. Then show it. Then show it. No, no. I want evidence from a scholarly source oh. which says during the time okay, of Prophet okay, Muhammad okay. Sallam, this is how they pronounced it. Okay, I will. I will get that and quote Good. it in the future. So until then, so you still will agree with it, even if I do. No, no. If you can show me evidence from reliable source, then I will look into it. But right now, I think you're just speculating. Fair enough. Okay. But as I so said, let's but let's I, talk. I doubt if I got the evidence, let's still believe well, it. Stop, if I do get the stop evidence. accusing me. I've already told you. I've already answered your question. That if you bring the evidence, I'll examine it and then I'll make up my mind. Okay. Is that fair? Right. Fair. Right now, Good. So now, right now, right now, what we are saying is this: if if you, I don't speak Arabic very well, man. Yeah. If 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 Jesus. Where where are you from originally? If you don't mind me asking. You're from England. So you studied Arabic and Hebrew. As a linguist, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that's fine. So, exactly. yeah. so with regards with with regards to Jesus, yes, do you maintain that he's Almighty God? Oh, even gosh, even this. even though he never claimed to be. Um, yes, I do believe he's Almighty God. Even that's though he never claimed to be. He did. I am. We're back to look. We, I, I, if so, what about all the things that Jesus said that he is ungodly? For example, when he was asked about the last hour, and he says nobody knows the hour. Not the God in, uh, sorry, not the angels in heaven, not the Son, except the Father in heaven. That's his human nature speaking. Okay, so, no. wait, wait, fair enough. You keep saying human nature. Can we agree that he was only human when he said that? Uh, no, I can't agree with Okay, that. so you are now using double standards. You are saying you want to have your cake and eat it as well. As an Englishman, you should understand that proverb. Yes? Why? What have we done? What have you done? Because you're saying that he's human nature. No, no, no. Why is an Englishman? Why, is, why do I understand that as an Englishman? Well, because his proverb is in English. Oh, what? Oh, the proverb. Okay, <laughs> yes. fair enough. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> I thought you were in Malini history or something. I don't no, know. nothing okay. to do with history. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. If you're going to say in his human nature, you either say he's fully God and fully man who said this, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you say he as a human being only said this. Which one are you going to pick? I will say again, as I've said, we've said this, we've gone over this so many times this afternoon. I, 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 yeah, which, one, which one is it? He's only human or he's both human and God? He's both human and God. And when he says something like, only the Father knows the hour, he's speaking his human nature. When he says something like, before Abraham was, I am, he's speaking his divine nature. Okay, so why do you, why do you switch natures like a light bulb? Can I answer? Why do you switch it on? No, you can't. Why do you switch it on and off like a light bulb? Okay? Why do you switch it on and off like a light bulb? When it suits you, Basically, that means he becomes divine. I don't want to talk you to you. Are, don't you get you it? I want to speak to him. When you switch it on, no, you have to speak. Begin. This is my friend. You oh, really? What is his name? Basically. What is his name? Basically. You see, this is just like his God. He doesn't know his friend's name. Just like his friend didn't give his name, his God also didn't give him name. Okay. So, so what I said is this. So, 
you know, you know wait a minute. You say that he's fully God and fully man. So shall we agree that he, shall we agree that fully God and fully man said he doesn't know the hour? Only the Father knows. You know, Jesus did not say. Listen, Jesus did not say only God knows. Remember what he said. He said only the Father knows. Now, do you agree that the Father only knows and the Son and the Holy Spirit doesn't know the hour? Or Jesus was telling a lie. Which one is it? No, I don't want you to answer. No, he didn't say only God knows. He said only the Father knows. No, no, it's not just a word. He said only the Father knows. He said only the Father knows. No, I don't want your answer because you you are not at all worthy of giving an answer or giving an answer. Jesus was he telling a lie? See what I mean? That's why I don't let him talk. Because that's what he does. He doesn't have the he doesn't have the Christian nature in him. Like the way you do. You know, you say you should not mock. At yes, he doesn't have that nature. Okay. okay, that's the reason I don't want him to talk. Now, the wait, he goes back to his Jahiliya. Yes, he was Jahiliya. Okay, so he wants to go back to his Jahiliya. Let him yeah, remain yeah, in his Jahiliya. We don't entertain say, Jahils here. So now, answer, when Jesus I said, answer, I, want answer, I don't want an answer from you. No, keep quiet <laughs> okay, if you want no, I don't want an answer from you. Jesus, when he says, only the Father knows, was he telling a lie? Yes, was he telling Okay, so Jesus was telling the truth. You will get the answer. When he says, when Jesus says, only the Father knows, yes, he's telling the truth, right? So can we, when we clearly say that Jesus, can we clearly say that Jesus, as the one who's fully God, is the Lord? Hey, listen, Harry. It's not nice. Harry, it's not nice. Harry. Just ignore everyone. Harry. Okay, I don't want your answer. I already told you. Don't you understand? I don't want your answer because you're a very rude man. I don't want your answer because you don't have an answer and you have very rude manners. So now, is that a shock? He's surprised. He's surprised I call him rude. No, you don't have an answer. So Jesus, Harry, okay, actually, let's come here, come here. Harry, was, was Jesus telling the truth when he said he didn't know the hour? Don't cut him out, though. Don't cut him out. What is he very rude? Let me. You have the answer. If you cut him out, let me. You can go. No problem. Okay. No problem. All right, Harry, take care. Because I do not entertain rude people like him. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Lord,